Hi friends, and welcome to our core recovery strength class. Let's start sitting on the floor or in a chair, and we're gonna do our core connection breath. So bring your hands to your rib cage, and you're gonna inhale, filling the rib cage front, back, side to side, 360 degrees, and exhale, squeezing the core muscles, squeezing and lifting the pelvic floor. Inhale, expand through the rib cage. Exhale, contract. Shoulders relaxed on the inhale. Pelvic floor strong on the exhale. Inhale, expanding. And exhale, contracting. Inhale. And exhale. Nice, and moving into our two-step exhales, we're gonna inhale and then exhale twice. So inhale, expand, and exhale. <sighs> inhale, exhale. <sighs> inhale, and exhale. <sighs> a few more times on your own breath cycle. <sighs> nice, and moving on to our pelvic floor exercises, let's start with our hold. So breathing normally, we're gonna squeeze our pelvic floor and hold two, three, four, five, six, and release. Remember, not recruiting other muscles for this work. As soon as you lose the integrity of the hold in the pelvic floor, relax. Let's go again. Squeeze and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, and relax. It's fine to just do a few seconds of this. And we'll go one more time. Squeeze and hold. Two, three, four, five, six. And relax. Let's go for our speed exercise now. So again, breathing normally. Squeeze and release as quickly as we can. Squeeze and release. One, two, three, four, five, six. And relax. Really try to maintain the form and the integrity of the movement as you go. Let's go again. Squeeze and release. One, two, three, four, five, six. And relax. Nice. Just take a couple of breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Let's come onto our backs for some supine strength moves. And the first one is a classic glute bridge. So bring your feet flat on the floor, hip width apart, knees are bent. Inhale here and on the exhale, we're gonna push up through our heels, active in our glutes and hamstrings and come into that bridge pose. Nice, and hold here. Breathe. and release down. Inhale here, and then on the exhale, we're coming up again, squeezing through the glutes, squeezing through the hamstrings. Nice. And just continuing on your own time, inhaling to come down, exhaling to come up. Remember, as you exhale, you're squeezing pelvic floor and core pushing through your heels, feeling your glutes active. And relax down, and let's go up again, squeezing core, pelvic floor. Nice, exhaling, lifting, relaxing down. A couple more, going for a few more times. Exhale, lift up, and down. Nice. Now going into our heel slide on the right side, make sure that you're feeling that activation in the pelvic floor and in the core. 
taking your right leg, sliding it away from you down the mat and back. Move to the left side. The exhale is pushing your heel away from you. Back to the right side, coming back on an inhale, exhaling, left leg goes down and up. Nice, and try to keep that neutral position in the spine as you continue to go through this movement. You don't want your back to be arching up as you go. Keep the core activated on that exhalation as you push your leg away. Just keep walking it out a few more times. Nice, you can even bring your hands to your hip bones, start to feel that core activation. Nice. One more time. Now we're gonna try the leg raise. So from that bent leg position on your back, you're gonna bring your right leg up to about a 90 degree angle. And then back down. And the left comes up and back down. The right comes up and back down. Left up and back down. Right and back down. Left and back down. Nice. Now we're going to reverse that move. So bring your legs up to 90 degrees and we're going to touch our toes to the floor, alternating sides. Now this is a challenging movement, so I want to invite you to stay in this position right here with your legs up and knees bent if you're already feeling your core quite turned on. The next challenge is to begin to reach the toe towards the floor, so try that on the right side. And the next challenge is to touch the toe to the floor, so let's try that one on the left side. So beginning to move the left leg, you're feeling, is there enough integrity in my core to continue the movement? Yes, okay, touch the toe. No, we stay here. Feel that integrity. From that initial position, we start to move the leg. Maintaining that integrity, awesome. As soon as you lose it, come back. Nice, and just trying that alternating sides. Again, as soon as you start to feel that integrity start to collapse, just come on back to that starting position. We're already challenging ourselves in this starting position, so don't feel like you're not working. You are working here. If you're staying here, you're working. Looks great. So just staying in that starting position or going through a couple of more cycles of toe taps. Remember, you're always exhaling on the way down. Looking great. Keep that core strong. Keep that integrity of the core. And change. We're going to come onto all fours into a tabletop position. And again, we're finding that neutral spine. We're finding that position where we have integrity of our core. We're in that neutral alignment. And from here, go ahead and lift your right leg back behind you and then back to tabletop. On the exhale, we're lifting the right leg up and back and then returning to tabletop. On the exhale, up and back and return. Try it with the left leg, up and back, and return. Up and back, and return. Nice, looking great. And then come back to that neutral spine, regain that core connection, and next is similar, but we're gonna move our leg and arm at the same time. So on the exhale, kick out that right leg back, and your left arm forward. 
nice and come on back. Switch to the opposite hand and leg and come on back. Remember keeping the integrity of the core. If we're loping to one side, we just want to come back to a position and a range of motion that we can continue to feel that neutral position with our spine. If your legs, your arms aren't coming off the floor, that's totally fine. Just tap them down. Beautiful. It's looking great. And let's try on a diagonal now. So from our neutral tabletop position, we're gonna try our left arm, right leg, going out in a diagonal and then back. Switch sides, out in a diagonal and then back. This is more challenging. Try it again, out and back, out and back. Nice. Great work. Beautiful. And coming back, let's rest now in a child's pose or in whatever position feels good for you. Enjoy the strength work that you just did. The feeling in your body of being more present, more engaged. I hope you're feeling a bit stronger, a bit more stable, and I will see you next time.